Are you looking at hiring an MSP sales consultant? Before you do that, let's think a little bit more about whether you have an MSP marketing problem or an MSP sales problem. So let's dive right in. So when a lot of MSPs go to hire a sales consultant, they're really looking at the wrong things. Um, and what they really want is new business and new leads. But in my experience, a lot of MSPs go to hire a sales consultant when they're just not ready because they don't have any lead flow. And what they're really looking at is somebody to be an appointment setter or generate leads online through online marketing. Um, and if this is the time that you're going to look at engaging an MSP sales consultant, you're just not ready. When you go to uh, hire that sales consultant, you want to have regular lead flow. So let's talk a little bit about kind of the, some of the symptoms so and what you want in place. So, you know, if you're going to hire an MSP sales consultant, you really want to be generating about five to 10 leads per month for your MSP. Um, and these don't all have to be bottom of funnel, ready to talk to sales leads. They can be email addresses, uh, you know, form submit, phone calls, but you want at least five to 10 leads for a salesperson to be working on top of whatever cold calling and outbound efforts they're doing, um, coming in inbound. These can be referrals, anything like that, but you just want regular lead volume before you really like start to look at like your sales process. Um, you know, you also want to make sure that like prospects are showing up to your sales meetings. Um, one of the you know classic signs that you have a marketing problem is you have appointments being set or people booking you know demos or whatever sort of sales meetings you're, you're setting up and they're just ghosting and that's because they've looked at your website, looked at your reviews or you know some other uh, digital property and things like that and they just don't trust your MSP anymore and people are just really bad about saying no so if you're you know consistently having people ghost your sales meetings then that's a red flag that should be a pretty low rate of people doing no shows and usually with an explanation and a desire to schedule a follow-up at a different time. Um, if you don't have prospects also regularly engaging with your marketing content, be that email marketing, social media stuff, things like that, then you know they're not really like seriously considering your company and those are gonna be thin ties. You know, you wanna have some form of relationship built before you're even having people reach out or um, you know, get to where the, a sales rep is engaging with them. And then another thing that you want to kind of look out for is prospects know why they are contacting you. Um, you know, be that if there was, you know, they perceive you as a cybersecurity expert or they perceive you as somebody who can help them design a, you know, network from the ground up or they found you in some competitor comparison lists through, you know, and view you as somebody they needed to reach out to. Um, so like, you know, again, you want to have people that you're talking to know why they're contacting you. Um, if you have these things in place where you have, you know, five to 10 leads per month coming in, they're showing up to your sales meetings, engaging with your content and people know why they're contacting you, but you're still struggling to close deals. You've got, you know, really long sales cycle, greater than 90 days. Um, you know, people refusing follow up meetings after an initial discovery call. Um, high churn rates post close, you know, you're actually like closing some deals, but then people are, you know, livid like 90 days later, expectations weren't aligned, you know, something's going on there on this where the sales expectations weren't being set properly. You know, you're getting spam reports or email delivery deliverability issues because people are, you know, angry at a sales rep who's following up too much, things like that or you have little to no pricing power and like you're just getting price shopped all the time and people are just beating you up on rates. You know, this is again kind of the other side of the coin on, you know, prospects knowing why they're contacting you. If you're just, you know, getting uh, people reach out that are just contacting like 50 plus providers and then just trying to find the absolute cheapest rate in person they can beat up and that's how you're perceived, you know, that's a more of a marketing problem than a sales problem. So um, if those are kind of you know the criteria that you're meeting where you're struggling to close those deals you've got really long sales cycles prospects are refusing follow-up meetings high churn rates post close um, spam reports you know email deliverability issues 
those are the things where it's probably time to hire a sales consultant and get somebody to work with you hand in hand on your sales process and um, getting your sales enablement materials together like presentations, um, one pagers, things like that. Um, and you know, there's a lot of great uh, MSP sales consultants out there. We've got a blog post on some that you can reach out to. I'll link that in the video description. Um, but those are kind of, you know, that's kind of like some things you want to think about in understanding whether you have a sales problem and are ready to uh, hire an MSP sales consultant or you have a marketing problem and you need to go back and take care of a few steps with your marketing stuff. Uh, at Tortoise and Hare here, we're really helping out on the marketing side with online marketing stuff, pay-per-click advertising, SEO, website development, uh, you know, helping you out with some messaging, you know, strategy, stuff like that. So we're really on the marketing side, not on the sales side, but of course uh, we want to help MSPs that need uh, some sales help, you know, get um, where they want to go and also understand if they're really ready. Because, you know, again, we talk to people that um, hire sales consultants before they're ready and they spend a bunch of money trying to get problems fixed that they're not even ready to solve yet. Um, so that's really the goal of this video. So hope you liked it and let me know if you have any questions in the video comments below. Hope you liked the video. Thanks again for watching. Um, if you did like it, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe. Uh, we create all sorts of new content that helps MSPs generate more leads for their business and grow their revenue. Um, uh, again, I'm Hunter Nelson with Tortoise and Hare Software and thanks for watching.